gonna be Tuma, but we'll find out. The stakes for this game is pretty high because, I mean, I, there are still plenty of champions on the roster, but let's just say Renekton is down to his last life. So if we don't win this, or we get a Penna, Renekton is dead for good. So, and that would be a very quick death in like the first three games, a champion already dies. So we're gonna, we're gonna try our best here. Bork into Gore Drinker type game. I can't really go full damage here. I need to go somewhat tanky. Oh. That's a little bit more annoying. Alright. This is very challenging already. Because Quinn is just going to be annoying here. And poke me. I'm gonna have to... Go here a little. Okay. So long she doesn't really do anything crazy, I'll have sustain. So. He is running Ignite, so I do have to be careful about the potential all-in here. Pretty okay trade. Can't really walk up to those minions, certainly. I can't walk up to that one, though. Alright. Alright. That's actually pretty fing big. Alright, that's really good start. Obviously I don't want to jinx anything, because it is low elo. Anything can happen down here. So I'm gonna try and remain as humble about that as possible. Because it doesn't mean shit that I just got two kills. It means I have Vamp Scepter, so I'm gonna have an easier time sustaining though. We're going work into probably Black Cleaver or Gore Drinker here. I'll need to be a little bit tanky for my team. I like him, otherwise there's nobody to heal. So we're just gonna let her push her in here. And then we can kind of slowly decide what we want to do here. Oh. Okay. Uh, Zyra randomly in the mid lane. I mean, I don't mind that. Got a vamp scepter and she's just wasting her time, so... Okay. Again, that's fine. I've got ult. I do have ult. We can fight that, guys. Talia would do more damage there. That's my bad. There's probably no chance I'm gonna be out farming. Yeah, it's a Quinn. She can basically zone me off. Yeah, she's backing off properly. Probably warded. Oh, drop a ward down because we don't have the rake warded at the moment. Nocturne ulting. Hmm. <clears throat> and now we're back to engaging gameplay.
Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be annoying. She can easily space me out. Luckily for me though, I do have Vamp Scepter. So I do have plenty of sustain, so long as there's a wave for me to hit. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I don't necessarily need to kill her here. I am already ahead. So, we can just ride out our lead. We're gonna have three people on our ass all game here. Gonna be fun. Alright. My Quinn is missing. I don't like that. Well done, Yasuo. I'm gonna roam, see if I can do something. No, you don't want to keep going. All right. Eight two zero. Win has seventy one CS. I'm gonna probably be camped here, gonna keep that in mind. Ooh. I'm not sure you wanna do that. When. She just gave me a free reset here by recalling there. She'll be back in time to catch the wave, because it's a Quinn. But it doesn't really matter. I'm not killing her in lane anyways, because she can just E away. So I'm not focusing on killing her anymore. Shove, and then roam. Very quick. Two. Okay, no, no mind. Yeah. Right. They'll need to ward. They're going to need to ward a lot because they're just going to get camped. They're just going to be annoying like this. <laughs> right. They're gonna camp me. This is the time where I'm just gonna mute all, because they're probably gonna start flaming me down the line. Uh, right, so I'm gonna go Ninja Tabis here. 
Realistically, there's not much I can do. So they're just gonna camp me, so I'm gonna play like a pussy, essentially. Which pretty much just means keep them shoving me in, collect the wave, and look for plays. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Nice. Our Yasuo is doing fine, so I don't really need to force anything. I can play around the Yasuo, because our bot lane is not gonna be played around, I think. Their Nocturne is getting heavily fed. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the, the funny thing about the static shiv. It's fucking stupid. I can't help you. I don't know if you know. Okay. Nice. If I walked up, I would have died there, regardless. So I don't know if they're mad at me for that. Uh, I'm gonna need to grab a sprite breaker here, actually, instead of gore. She's too slippery. I missed that cannon minion. I'm sad. There's no way you saw me. Yeah, they're, they're just gonna permanently um, roam to me. Tanky enough to survive that, so we can now actually shove this. Just playing for the long haul. Okay, I can't. He's here to catch the wave. Can't just shove this next one though. Uh, you tried. He tried to cancel my recall there. I saw that. Oh my god. I'm really annoyed. I'm, I'm not gonna try and hide that from you guys. Like, this is gonna be really challenging because it's not like I'm a smurf already. Technically, I kind of am, but the knowledge I had of this game is years old. Like, I'm actively relearning the game as I'm doing this uh, climb challenge. So it's like, it's not as if I'm already high elo and I'm doing this challenge to, you know, challenge myself that way. I'm kind of doing it like double, so. It'll make me a better player down the line, I'm sure of that. And it's also going to force me to play champions I would normally not play, because I'm gonna be playing each and every champion that I own. And I will eventually buy every champion. As of currently, this challenge is not being done on my main account, so do keep that in mind. That Zyra went Rylai's first, explains why she does almost no damage. Quinn is annoying though. The Quinn mid pick is weird, but it's really easily countered by just not freaking out. Not freaking out and doing stupid things is a pretty easy way of being not countered, pretty much. My jungler just inted there, by the way. I need some help here. Peeps. Oh my god, I nearly died to Scorch there. That's crazy. Okay, I'm back full health. They have used cooldowns. If they're still there, we can we can now fight. But if they're not, we can just relax. Shove the wave, nearly have a Stride Breaker. I'm gonna remove some water. Use that plant. ADC is going up to top. We'll probably get ready for Baron here. All right, now we have our item, which should make it easier to catch the Quinn. I'm just gonna go complete defensive, to be honest. I'm gonna go straight into a death dance. I'm doing plenty of damage with Bork already. Quinn here. Yeah, they saw me. They're gonna ult. 
Nocturnal, probably. Or alternatively, they're just gonna blue trinkets. Their ADC is mid. Uh, I'll go. What? I I just die there. Okay, that's cool. That's uh, that's <laughs> that fear took three point sixty three champions. That's kind of crazy. All right, it's one champion by the way. Somebody should also go bot lane and push bot lane through. I don't have TP, so it'll have to be the Oswa because he's the only one who can push that and TP back. But I doubt he's gonna know. Yep. I'm not afraid of you though. I'm afraid if you got friends. Which you probably will. Judging by how your team has been playing all game. Yep, there it is. Or not really? Uh, Renekton... Oh, they're probably all coming here. Do we get mid bot tower? Yes, we do. Good. the only few people that are gonna come and try and kill me I can sustain back up no okay it's not that's cool we can probably get Baron off that which is nice Yone is gonna kill Ryasuo and get out his fun champion right Zara should die here I reset Jackpot wave. I have ultimate up in a little bit. I can probably kill him. If he keeps walking up though, if he just backs off, I don't need to start anything. This, uh, Talia doesn't understand that. But, the low elo ADC, so he dies. I'm trying to get my death stance here very quickly and also pull people that I know I can fight to my lane because I want l as, like the least amount of people be on my team here. So Quinn is topside means they can pull multiple people down to me. That's a ward. That's just a Zyra. We're going to start to back off. Yone as well. Get rid of that plant so they can't use it. I'm gonna catch this wave real fast. Uh, Vex is going top to clear that wave. Their ADC is here. Their jungler is also likely somewhere here. I'm still gonna risk it. There we go. Means Death's Dance here. Can turn on the Quinn. There we go. Vex doesn't want this wave, I'll take it. And now we're just gonna keep pushing. Now do keep in mind this series is probably going to be less edited because the whole point of this series is to show the whole game. Probably the only... Hang on a moment. The only things I'll be editing out is dead space. So like if I'm dead and nothing is happening, nothing interesting or worth showing is happening, I will just edit that out. So just as a reminder of what this challenge is more likely going to be about, 
my flash is up in a little bit, I can then try and do something to this guy. If he stays at us. Obviously, if he just lets me push this, I will just push this. I'm currently pressuring them. Zara is here too. Am I gonna keep? They're missing mid again, so we're gonna back off here. And we're gonna X stay because Nocturne is bot side. And Nocturne is honestly the only one on their team that I'm currently really afraid of. Not because Nocturne is a scary champion for me, because I do have a lot of armor, but the fact that he likely has friends. Hello! <laughs> ah, that's sad. But I did get top tower there. And I also killed the Aphilios, which means he's gonna basically miss a bunch of gold and money. I feel like a Thornmill is gonna be really helpful here though. I will start to build towards the Thornmill, but I'm gonna finish the Black Cleaver first. Not gonna lie, it doesn't look too hot. Team is starting to end. Oh, yeah, their morale is down as well. Probably just go Drake. What? Why are we... okay. All right. Yeah, that's good. I'm just gonna shove this real fast. Hopefully team doesn't do anything stupid. Oh, they probably are. All right. Finish Drake here. He tried. No, we just defend this. We have soul. Now the plan is to just defend. Stick with my team because I am pretty strong. I'm pretty tanky. And the uh, goal is pretty much to defend this Ash. Because this Yo- uh, this uh, Yone. This Yasuo is just being an idiot. And just solo dying all the time. So I'm gonna stick close to my Ash now and heal for her. Right, we can go now. And that's f***ing awesome! Renekton is not dead, guys. The client is also afraid. The client is also really, really confused and scared. Look, it's, it's literally not there. I'm tapping to the... You see this? Yeah, so, um, I think that's a sign. <laughs> I'll see you guys when the journey begin- uh, when the journey continues.